Hey, peace, love, and light, my beautiful, beautiful collective energy. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for the Yin and Yang Collective. I will you all enjoyed your strong end. I will you all are enjoying this day off. Just relaxing, grounding yourselves, centering yourselves, meditating, just connecting to yourselves. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. So I wanted to go ahead and bless you all with a reading. Um, I do want to say, um, send out my apologies for the low recorded video that I did um, previously. I believe it was for Scorpio. Um, I mean, I did mention it in the reading. I also placed it in the description box that you might want to wear your earbuds or your headphones as I was recording it very early in the a.m. and I did not want to wake up anyone else in the house. Um, so it was one of those instances where it was like, you know, if you really was meant for the message, then you knew how to work around a little situation. Um, but yes, today is going to be a better recorded video for you all. If you are new here, welcome, beloveds. As I said, my name is Q. I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively, and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear me reference songs that are playing in the background. And the way things work on my side is the messages within the song, whether the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, even a timestamp on the song. It will resonate, correlate with what I am channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards are reading. So right now we have Emma and the name of the song is called Burn. Um, so I do feel like for many of you all, perhaps you could be a fire sign. Maybe you've dealt with a fire sign. Um, maybe you have fire in your chart. Um, I feel burning is a way of like ridding yourselves of, you know, per certain energy or, um, just chords you know you could perform a burn release ceremony where you write your thoughts down and you may burn them to relieve yourselves release that energy that could have been boggling you down uh, so some of you could be performing um, a release ceremony in which you are utilizing the element of fire for some of you all you have learned something by getting burned uh, you got burned by perhaps someone you've trusted. Um, maybe a situation happened where you learned valuable lessons and it was a painful lesson. It was a lesson uh, that was pretty much a growing pain. Um, I also feel like perhaps there's someone who has this burning fire desire. Uh, something that has been lying dormant is beginning to uh, intensify, explode, implode. Um, there is a very burning desire, burning sensation. Um, so maybe someone has some sort of feelings. Uh, when I think of burn, I think of flames. I see a fire um, just really beautifully lit. I see the wood crackling. Some of you all could be, uh, like I said, um, just enjoying a fire pit in the evening time. Uh, maybe you're burning wood. Um, maybe you're just sitting around the fire. You could be scrying. Um, but there is this energy of fire, of an element of passion. Uh, maybe some of you all are following some sort of burning desire to uh, pursue a particular career or pursue a particular path in your life, um, even if it's a business, even if it's a passion of yours, you know, a hobby that has turned into an actual passion. You could be following that. Um, but that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. So we will absolutely see what the cards have to say. So let's go ahead and do some house cleaning. Um, if you are new here, the way I do things on my side is my readings are general. So my spiel is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Um, 
this reading is also timeless. So whenever this reading popped up in your feed, whenever you saw the video just kind of circulating in your feed and you felt compelled to click play, that was divine timing and divine order in which you've done so. So let's go ahead, as I said, do some house cleaning. Thank you, spirit. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth mother, Gaia, universe source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So, beloveds, right now, who do we have playing? We have Allure, and this is called Head Over Heels. So I was picking up and channeling with that burn reference that there was someone who could have some passion towards another person, attraction for another person. Maybe they've been desiring this person. Maybe there is no communication uh, with this person. We're going to be using the Witch's Wisdom deck today first. I usually start off with the numerology. I will utilize that deck, but at a later point in time. As I pull the, the cards out of the box, we have power. So you all have the power. I feel like you have the power to uh, tap in to your energy. I feel you have the power to be attuned. You are absolutely attuned with Mother Gaia, uh, which means you are very much in the flow of things. You could feel, you, can, uh, sen you have sensations inklings your intuition is very powerful um there's this knowingness there's this wise dome there's this ability to co-create to utilize that power to channel uh, that energy i feel like you are master manifestors you may set intention you are very powerful very creative um, with head over heels, I also feel this makes you very attractive. This this strength that you exude, this wise dome, this this level of self mastery. You seem very masterful in your ways, and that is very alluring. It's very intriguing. It may even be something that is almost intoxicating to another person because they have this burning desire to be with you, around you, speak to you. This is um, a beautiful, mag beautifully magnetic energy. Like everything you desire, just you just pull it into you. You attract it to you. This power is very powerful. It means you're standing in your power, owning it, utilizing it in every way. Very balanced as well. We have balance here. So you are in equilibrium, mind, body, and soul. You're in equilibrium, masculinity, as well as your femininity so this is like that yin and yang i feel like as i said you when you're in an energy of power you just draw things to you um and so you appear to be very grounded balanced in a line as i said um very attuned with the frequencies with the energies um with the vibrations you know and you may be attracting someone on your wavelength another like mind, another uh, spiritualist such as yourself. Find spirit of love and light, what messages do you have? I just saw banishment, so there was something that was trying to, uh, you know, or someone external to you that could be a little jelly, a little, you know, envious, trying to throw things at you, trying to block blessings, trying to dim your light. But I feel like you are very grounded and rooted in your power you know you are very um much in alignment spiritually you're very spiritually strong so it's like you're you you you've established a sense of um security stability it's like you trust your own intuition it's like you've learned from 
the experiences of your past. I don't want to call them the mistakes because they were just literally lessons, karmic lessons. And we have diggable planets and this is called rebirth of slick, cool like that. So this is showing you've gone through a major transformation. And whenever I see this foundation, I feel that you've had to reestablish a solid foundation after perhaps a tower moment, after something crumbled and fell, you know, after spirit stepped in, source stepped in, stepped in, pardon me, universe stepped in and struck a tower. Maybe there was a lot of disillusionment. Maybe there was a lot of illusions, lies. There was a lot of manipulation. There was a lot of things that were not as they appeared. So spirits stepped in. Maybe perhaps you didn't pay attention to the red flags. And when you went through that experience, you've learned to pay attention. You've learned to be more discerning. And so now you've rebuilt on a more solid foundation. So there's you know, stability, there's security, we saw balance. So there's obviously things are back, you know, um, in equilibrium. Things are fluid again, they're flowing. Things are running smoothly, the turbulence is gone. You've worked out the kinks. And we can see what appears to be like a map. So I feel like it's almost saying that you've returned to yourself because this is the card of homeland and it says foundation. So I feel like you all have returned back to yourselves. Maybe you've lost your way, perhaps in a relationship or lost your way, you know, through certain personal experiences. But now it's like, you know, through some sort of ending, something uh, caused some sort of transformation in your life. There was some sudden change, but it was a very impactful change where it required a rebirth. You know, we got diggable planets playing. And so for many of you all, um, I'm just getting a strong sense of like literally uh, having to emerge someone uh, brand new. And that's why that power card opened up the reading. And I just saw 1212, which is 33 three, and 33 three reduces to six. So three, let's break down three. Uh, three is the number of the empress. That's also the solar plexus. So the solar plexus is really your strength. That's that gumption, that gut instinct. It acts as a second brain almost because you always feel something in your gut first, you know, and it gives you that, that, um, that uh, awareness that you need to assert yourself in a situation it's where st strength and courage is housed as well and i feel it's also because the sun that shines within you there's a strong sense of self-discipline self-respect you know that's also power so this is showing me that there's been um a lot of working on yourself at a spiritual level soulful level healing and, and blessing you with the knowledge, you know, the knowledge, wisdom, and wise don't. So this is like that energy of, you know, re you reestablishing the stability in your life after dealing with something that was, um, you know, very um, disabling or tumultuous. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on for my divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Right now we have AZ, and this is called Sugar Hill. So I definitely um, am feeling things are getting sweeter, you know, something really um, or someone very sweet could be coming in. Someone may be sweet on you, you know, may have some, like I said, uh, strong attraction. You know, that th tw that 1212 was reducing to six as well. So this is also your first eye. So being discerning, you know. It's almost about telling you not to, you know, just allow someone to sweet talk you perhaps because that six also deals with the past. That's like the lovers. Um, that six is also associated with the first dies. So maybe there's someone from your past that could be ret returning, you know, um, perhaps this is someone very sweet. There's obviously distance because the train is going by. Someone could be traveling to see you. Maybe someone is returning from your past because homeland, this is someone that lives at a distance. Maybe some of you all are going back to, you know, um, 
your childhood um, home. You may be visiting your childhood um, places of residency. Like you could be going back home, back to you know, to the uh, to the essence. You know, back to that block that you grew up on. Black. Maybe you could be going you know, to some sort of family reunion even. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. Give me one moment because my cat is on the patio. Hold on one second. My bad. So let's go ahead and finish the cut. So that was number two. This is number three. And this is overall energy we're going to pull. And we have incubation. So the incubation card. And this is called a star in another deck, the goddess guidance. That is actually the um, divine feminine, the empress card with incubation. This always looks like um, an adult that's in the womb. So this looks to me like really like rebirth. This is someone who could be learning something, you know, going back to the drawing board in a very studious energy, reflective energy, um, learning to see things from a different perspective. You know, this energy right here shows me that there's some sort of rebirth. The only reason an adult would be in a womb is because they're going through some sort of rebirth, some sort of startling metamorphosis, a transformation. And they're kind of sitting and learning and meditating and growing. I feel like this is also like a growing pain. This could be, you know, tough love from spirit. You know, sometimes spirit will sit you down to make you reflect, to make you see something clearly. Even if this is an idea that you have, it's almost saying that the seed is very, um, it's ready, it's its like, you know, it's overdue, it's ready to uh, be birthed, so something new is ready to be, bemo be born, whether this is an idea or whether this is just a new and improved version of yourself. The bottom of the deck, we have winter, so maybe something will be being birthed during the winter time 1717 17 on the clock that's 88 eight. 8 deals with strength so this could be someone like mustering up the strength to pursue a dream or to pursue some sort of new idea that 1717 17 reduces to 16 which is 7 so this is also associated with the chariot in traditional tarot so there will be movement someone will assert themselves after you know finding perhaps the answers they're going within to seek the answers you know this is like a meditative state meditating to get things straight contemplating gaining a more evolved perspective perhaps that seven is the chariot so this will be movement towards a particular direction once that that um level level of contemplation is is complete there will be movement towards something because someone will be following now their own intuition the seven is also associated with the crown chakra so maybe there's a sense of getting like divine downloads interventions transmissions straight from source from spirit like I said just being sat down you know spirit is working with someone and with and during the winter I feel like something will come into fruition the winter is usually when things die you know, but nothing is ever dead. It's transformed. You know, it's reincarnated. So I feel something, you know, maybe even communication could be taking place. Maybe someone could be um, really uh, coming through with some form of communication. Somebody that could be watching you from a distance, waiting. This is the watchtower. And when I think of winter, I just think maybe there was a connection that grew cold uh, due in part to the lack of communication. You know, I was feeling distance because the train went by and it was, you know, the horns was you know, it was just very loud. So it's almost like, you know, maybe somebody who's who's like really reevaluating and surveying a situation is realizing like, you know, um, the community, you know, maybe they want to assert themselves and say something take action because I was feeling like a burning desire earlier I was feeling like somebody was very passionate feelings that have been lying dormant are starting to um, you know implode erupt 
but maybe someone, you know, perhaps ghosted another person and maybe they want to return and explain the reasons why, because, you know, things are very cold right now. Things are not um, very amicable, you know. This is, you know, really like something feels very cold, very stagnant, very kind of stuck, even no action. Um, and we got Nas, uh, Rhyme, and Reason. So maybe someone, like I said, will come back eventually, like, you know, come out of hiding and will explain reasons for why they perhaps have been, you know, kind of like inactive, not really communicating, just kind of off the radar, you know. So let's see what's coming and going out, going on for my divine feminine and masculine energy. And we have cycles here. So there was some sort of karmic cycle that had to be wrapped up. I feel like somebody has been learning. This could be your energy. This could be whoever you're attracting. So there's been an element of like learning. I feel that there was a lot of things that were hidden. And we see the water, the cleansing card underneath that. Perhaps this was uh, dealing with a divine masculine that needed to clear up a karmic cycle. Or maybe someone that was dealing with a divine masculine that needs to clear up a, a, a karmic cycle because there was something going on that was hidden as I was suspecting earlier. The moon represents the shadow, what's hidden. Um, and there was a need to really like, you know, tune into oneself, you know, because it was very evident, but because there was no real attempt to uh, paying attention to one's own intuition, they were kind of being misled you know, being lied to, being led astray. Um, it could have been third party entanglements as well. And I feel like there was a deep cleaning that was necessary, spiritual cleanse. There was also just healing that was required. The water is very indicative of healing. It's also very um, invigorating, rejuvenating. Uh, so I do feel like there was not only just this cleanse, but also uh, a very deep healing that was necessary. And perhaps that was a feminine energy that needed to uh, heal themse themselves and restore themselves uh, from, you know, perhaps a betrayal uh, on behalf of a masculine who had them, you know, entrapped in some sort of entanglement. You know, I see a lot of energy of like clearing, clean, clearing, cleansing. So this is telling me that they're was karmic entanglements, karmic lessons um, that were being learned by a lot of the uh, people involved in this connection, you know, people involved in this relationship. But with the moon, I feel, you know, someone woke up and started to do some self-discovery, some introspective work, reflective work, uh, also learn to trust their own intuition and what we have playing right now is Prodigy and Alchemist, and this is called Give Him Hell. So this this was like definitely a hell of a situation. I feel like somebody's lies and someone's deception really caused someone to really feel. Um, and I just saw 2323 on the clock, so that's 5-5 five, five and that's 10. So it made someone really feel like devalued. Um, I feel like when someone is giving you hell that you're dealing with the devil himself. So this is someone that was very like deceitful, uh, very cunning, someone who's a trickster, master manipulator, a liar, uh, keeping secrets, you know, hiding other um, love interests, you know, um, being just for everybody, not having any loyalty, not even having respect for the union. And someone took that necessary time out to heal. You know, to seek the answers within opposed to uh, from people external to themselves. So that's a very, um, very empowering um, energy to be in because there's no outside influences. This is getting those downloads straight from sources and, and, and direct, live and direct from spirit. Uh, and there goes the death card, which speaks to, you know, transformation. Remember, we had diggable planets um, rhyming. Uh, rebirth of slick cool like that so the death card is all about transformations and rebirths and I even mentioned that for you know this energy here incubation because this is like an adult in a womb so the only reason an adult would be in the womb is if they were going through some sort of they were being reborn you know uh, there was some sort of rebirth rebirth of consciousness rebirth even of their own um, 
their desires, you know, going through some sort of studentship, you know, learning, you know, learning from source. This transformation is showing there was painful endings, but you are protected. You know, those lanterns represent protection. Some of you, as I said earlier, um, there could have been fire. I also feel there could be uh, water because we just saw the water element here. So there could be water, you know, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There could be uh, even um, Aries, you know, an Aries or some sort of fire sign. You could even be dealing with, a, you know, a Cancer. This is really for anyone. So I don't want to be calling out signs all day, but this death card is associated with Scorpionic energy. And I do feel like there's absolutely some sort of major transformation I feel there's a shift in someone's consciousness, someone's pivoting in regards to the actions they're taking, movements, they're making um, decisions that they are um, also going to uh, be standing by. So it's like there's a whole renewal of um, the self, of the consciousness. Someone has tapped into their that God frequency because this is like intuition, you know, that, that death card is um very intuitive it's very it speaks to um having a very keen you know ability to tap into um intuition and discernment and so we have um bobby valentino featuring nas this is called slow down and so we have spring here this is another watchtower card so we just had the winter time so the spring is when things are blossoming again. I always feel the springtime is actually, actually the new year. So I feel something new is coming in after um, there's been some sort of ending. The death always represents, like I said, an ending, you know. But some there's a new beginning. This is a very um, beautiful time. Like there's um, opportunities blossoming. I also feel like seeds you've sown in the past, you're receiving a return on that investment. You know, there's there's um, some sort of blissing, you know, opportunities. Things are really transforming for you. I feel like it's going to give you that opportunity to slow down, take a breather, because I do feel like you've been really working very hard. And as I was picking up earlier with the burn song, you know, the death is very indicative of being um, being done wrong, being hurt, you know, having to learn from painful lessons. But I feel there's a brand new beginning here. I feel like spirit is blessing you with some sort of new opportunity, some golden opportunity even. I see a lot of yellow here and yellow again is associated with the solar plexus. So it's because you've asserted yourselves and it's like very indicative of like strength, courage and wisdom. And now there's things blossoming, opportunities blossoming. Even love can be blossoming. And with slow down, you know, maybe someone has been taking their time, you know, because they want to come in, they want to get it right. So let's see what we got coming and going out going on. What's going on with my, and we still had the cycles on the bottom of the deck. So everything happens in cycles, you know, that's why it's a very important um, to trust the cycles and rhythms of your body. And look what flew right back out. We have clearance. I'm sorry, I said clearance. We have the watchtower winter. I said clearance because I was looking at this card here. This is on the bottom of the deck. So this is about wrapping up a cycle, clearing out a cycle. I was picking up, you know, the fire um, earlier, you know, where some people utilize um, a fire ceremony to release, you know, to purge themselves of, you know, certain negativity or certain heaviness, energy, you know, that they just want to get rid of um banish so a lot of people will write their intentions down or write whatever it is they wish to release write whatever they um are faced with whatever heavy 
energy they could be dealing with, they'll write it down and then they'll burn it as a form of release. And it's taken up into the ethers and blown away. So perhaps whoever this is that's watching that has a desire to communicate, maybe someone or something is slowing them down through rituals. This is like manipulation because it says ritual invocation and there are some feminine energies uh, joined together invoking something. So maybe there's an op a sense that somebody has done a ritual to uh, cause some sort of ending. Someone could be recuperating and healing from dealing with some sort of witch or some sort of warlock. There's someone that has been like causing... Um, you know, like pain. And I'm also picking up with burn, you know, because you could also get like freezer burn, you know, like when you get too cold, you could get frostbitten, you know, like it could burn. And this is like somebody just feeling very cold, you know, it's a very uncomfortable feeling. And it's probably because someone's manipulating their energy, you know, causing some sort of perpetual lack in someone's life this is someone really manipulative conniving I was picking up on a devil energy I won't be surprised if a devil shows up in this reading this could also be someone performing like a love spell wanting to reconnect reunite resuscitate this is someone I feel you have uh history with you're familiar with someone you've even had conversations with but things went cold I feel this person watches you and I feel this person watches you and they're learning but they have to clear up a cycle there's some things they're clearing up out of their life yeah something is about to be washed away because I see this cleansing. So someone really seems to be um, proactive in trying to clear up uh, some sort of cycle or so clear out, um, you know, some sort of energy, healing. Someone can't stop thinking about you as well. I see a lot of, uh, you know, heavy thoughts about, you know, that divine feminine or that, that, that divine masculine. It's like someone is really like has isolated themselves to heal, you know, because they are under some sort of like spell. It feels like maybe somebody has not taken action and moved because someone's doing some sort of like binding spell. And this person feels almost like a prisoner. And there's a card that just flew out of the numerology deck and it is intuition. So this 22 four that reduces um, that is the divine masculine for is the energy of the masculine I was picking up like a masculine that needed um, you know to to heal from something and it looks like this 22 is saying that this is exactly what that masculine is dealing with they're listening to their intuition this is also healing from heartache pain loss for is associated with the heart chakra and this is an orange card and orange is associated with the sacral. And the sacral deals with the self, you know. It's how you identify. Um, it's your self-love. It's your love language to yourself. You know, it's also about your strength. It's also about, you know, mustering up that courage. Seeing the truth, you know, loving yourself. Learning to love yourself. Learning to really love yourself. Not in a superficial or egotistical way but like treating yourself the way you deserve to be treated by having the right energies around you by you know um, being around the right people or doing things that are aligned with your purpose this is like somebody's learning something here even learning what love is even learning that they love, that they do love you, you know. If this isn't a divine masculine, this could be a divine feminine coming into this awakening. We have in the bottom of the deck individuality. 
So perhaps there were some codependencies, relationships where someone heavily relied on another person for that emotional validation, maybe even for financial support. It's like someone just was very reliant on another and they've had to learn to stand erect, to stand alone, to to be, you know, to embody that divine masculine or feminine. You know, they, they know their worth and value. They establish, you know, solid foundations. That's another reason why perhaps foundations showed up because that is the first thing you do after, you know, a tower, after an ending is you have to set up shop again. So you have to establish a very solid foundation so that you can be independent, self-sufficient, feel that sense of security. So I feel like that was a lesson someone had to learn that their independence is the foundation for their stability, their security, their happiness. Having to listen to their own intuition and not be gaslit, manipulated. You know, this is someone really being schooled. You know, this is seeking wise counsel. This is like sitting at the feet of the elders. The elders are working very uh, personally with this person because they're in that womb. You know, they're back in the womb of their umi, back in the womb of Mother Earth, because this looks like he's like, you know, planted in the earth. So Mother Gaia is grounding this person, bringing them back into equilibrium, mind, body, and soul, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Someone is transformed out of codependency into individuality, independence. And we have Nas, and this is called street dreams. So what did I say? Someone's now realizing after this death that, you know, they need to live their truth. They need to follow their heart's truest desires, their passions. Whatever this is that's been lying dormant within them, it's like now they are emerging someone fully prepared to go after what they want. With this individuality, there's a strong sense of feeling stable and st strong. You know, let me see what's coming and going out, going on. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have spirituality, 7-7. Seven, seven. So, so far, you got the 2-2. Two, two, so, this is also matching the vibration and frequency of your divine counterpart. We already know that if you've been here before. If you haven't, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that's you mirroring your divine counterpart, masculine or feminine. So, the twos deal with the high priestess. High priestess represents psychic abilities, powers, clairvoyant. You know, this is that energy that is like really tapped in. So having that sixth sense, having a heightened sense of intuition. There's communication, even though someone is in what seems to be a very like hermit mode energy, very isolated, learning, gathering information, grounding, healing, restoring themselves. There's still psychic communication back and forth. This is someone that loves you. This is someone that you love. So I feel this history. I feel this is a very spiritual connection, a divine connection. I feel that you and this person are equally psychic, equally in tune and attuned to Mother Gaia. So it's like you pick up on one another's energy. I also feel like there's a strong sense that this is a spiritual connection union. I won't be surprised if I see like the Six of Cups. We did see earlier uh, 12, 12 on the clock, and that represents, um, you know, the three, which is the Empress, and another three. So somebody could also be mirroring you in that divine masculine energy, the divine masculine to show up. The number four is associated with the divine masculine. So I feel strongly that you are coming into alignment with the yin to your yang yang to your yin because we saw that balance card as well which represent masculine and feminine energy um and with the spirituality 7714 i do feel like there will be communication i feel the communication at this time is non-existent but i feel there's a lot of dream activity whether daydreaming or night dreaming, I feel someone's thinking of someone heavily. And I feel the more you think of another person, the more capable that other person is uh, to picking up on your energy. And so there's like thoughts floating around, telepathic, intuitive. We have 66 healing. So this is the third, 
you know, energy of, you know, synchronized numbers. So someone is absolutely healing and restoring themselves, rejuvenating, recovering themselves from some sort of painful ending past, something that happened suddenly, something that happened unexpectedly. This was definitely an upheaval and it burned, it burned like hell, but there's healing, you know, there's healing because you have learned something very valuable from this experience. And although it felt like a literal death, it has transformed you into someone stronger, someone wiser, which is the Empress. Because the 6-6 six, six reduces to 12, which is 3. So you have reached a level of self-mastery through going through and growing through certain pains, certain tumultuous, tumultuous, excuse me, circumstances and situations within your relationships. I feel the person you're attracting again, the six is dealing with the lovers. So I do feel this person sees you as the one and they see you see them uh, as the one as well. Because the lovers are um, absolutely, you know, uh, that divine feminine and masculine that have a very spiritual union connection, a soul tie of sorts. Because there's an angel overseeing that union, which means that this is something that is destined. This is a love connection that's destined. This is a love connection that will lead to a partnership, commitment, marriage, equal give and take. You know, this is that person that wants to provide that security. This is that person that also communicates with you intuitively, telepathically, thinks of you. They're using discernment this time around, or you could be using discernment this time around because you've learned, you know, to not just give people the benefit of the doubt, to allow people to show and prove. And I feel someone will want to come back and resurrect, reunite, reconcile even to, you know, build some sort of alliance or some sort of partnership. We have the notorious B.I.G. and the name of the song is called Sky's the Limit. So this person really sees infinite possibilities when they think of you. And this is life after death album. So this is definitely someone who's emerging with a completely different perspective and a more evolved perspective about where they want to take love, where they want to take this connection because they have this attraction. They're drawn to you. They see you as the empress. They see you as that one that got away. And with that song, Sweet, I feel like, um, I forgot what it was. Sweet, oh man. There was a song that was sweet and I was just feeling like somebody was going to be very sweet on you. Someone is going to treat you very sweet. They're just going to be a sweetheart. They're going to be very, like, they're just going to speak your love language. You know, this is the type of person that doesn't, you know, they, they their love language could be physical touch. So they're going to be, you know, they're going to hug you. They're going to give you that, that, that attentiveness that you need, that affection that you need with spirituality. I feel strongly like, you know, there's, there's, um, a love connection that could be blossoming very soon, perhaps during the springtime or even during the winter, something, you know, uh, someone that you not, you're not communicating with at this time because things have gotten really cold and I just saw 4343 so that's 77 so definitely 77 reduces to 14 that's 5 that person that you haven't been communicating with is going to start communicating because we got 77 here which is also 5 so the throat chakra I'm feeling like somebody is going to start speaking speaking up opening their mouth maybe they're going to come out of hiding come out of isolation come out of the cave that they were meditating in out of the mountains, you know, this is somebody who's been on there like, you know, Buddhist monk, you know, really going through some sort of like spiritual awakening, you know, really healing, doing some real shadow work. And I feel not only have this, has this person been going through this, but I feel this is like mutual energy. You know, the divine feminine and masculine are similar, you know, in every way. They experience similar experiences. They have similar purpose and, and missions. You know, they have that same high vibration. 
And so the spiritual connection is definitely destined and I feel like it will blossom. You know, it will blossom very soon. It's blossoming already because there's been some sort of seeds planted. There's that's why I was picking up like you may know this person. This could be, you know, some sort of um, past life love. That means when you have met this person, whether you've met this person already or you will meet this person, it will feel like you've known them all your life. This is the type of person that will finish your sentences. They will get you. You will get them. Conversations will be very stimulating, very exciting, you know, but familiar all in the same. The chemistry is through the roof. The synergy, you know, is, is also very magnetic. And so that's why I was picking up like burn as somebody's burning desire, like the, you're, you're someone's very um, hidden, you know, this is like a secret admirer. They privately admire you from afar, you know, with the watchtower twice, you know, I just feel like this is somebody like really zoned in on you, really tuned in to you, you know, but they are cold. They feel this cold. They, they feel this distance and there could be, you know, some manifestations, rituals going on, or this could be someone that someone is dealing with that has done some sort of binding spell to keep them stuck, you know, to keep them intertwined with them, contained, you know, but we shall see. So let's see, why is Watchtower of the East Spring here? And so some of you all could be living in the East Coast. Some of you could live up, e you know, in the East or up North. So we got two cards. We got follow your dreams. Didn't I say that that's what you all were, you know, doing, you know, with that burn, that burning desire, something's blossoming, something's blossoming, whether this is that person that has had some sort of, um, you know, transformation coming towards you because they see you as wish fulfillment because this eight and five is 13, 13 reduces to four and four is, you know, that divine masculine, the emperor, that person that's sitting, you know, you know, meditating to get things straight, introspection, doing those internal self audits, that person that's working on themselves, they are absolutely coming out. Didn't I say that they were with that seven? Because I saw, um, you know, seven, I forgot what card that was, but it was showing like someone was going to be very assertive, you know, coming after you uh, because they've discovered during this time um, in that meditative state um, how they feel you know, what they desire, and then coming out of that really passionate, you know, going after those things, taking action to go after it, and this 13, the death is showing, it's the death of the old ways of thinking, changing one's belief systems, ideologies, this is also saying that, you know, the seeds that you've sown, the work that you've done, it will be rewarded, you know, spirit has acknowledged it. And that's why they're blossoming. That's why there's a new opportunity, a new blessing. You know, this is like golden opportunities presenting themselves. Wishes coming true. Answered prayers and petitions. That's going to bring some emotional fulfillment here. And this is a beautiful energy because it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's showing you that when you do the work, there's rewards waiting for you. And this is the heart of the matter, that there's a wish fulfillment that's coming in. There's an opportunity for someone to have their wishes fulfilled. And this is leading to a very um, joyous time, happy time. And we have, um, and we have Talib Kweli, and this is called love language. And I'm speaking of love language, featuring less Nubians. So the love language of this person might be a little cold, might be even a little distant, but this person is absolutely watching you. They're watching you because maybe they are, you know, under some sort of spell. They're not taking action because they have someone that's doing some sort of rituals on them. This is someone that is reliant on them for money. So perhaps this is why this person has this karmic or some 
dark energy and 4949 is on the clock and that's that same energy of the um, the death card because that reduces to 13 and this is the number 48 which is 12 so this person watches you with love with admiration but I feel a sense of obligation responsibility that this person has I feel like they live in a very cold you know environment meaning like they their home that they share with another person whether this be a wife whether this be a fiance or someone that they just reside with you know a girlfriend you know a boyfriend or fiance whatever it is it's like there's no love in this connection this person desires to come towards you because you are warm you're loving you know they see you as beautiful they see you as strong they see you as the divine feminine energy this empress energy here is someone they could potentially be mad uh, married to or just common law marriage been with someone so long that it's like you might as well be married and i feel this person could have been with someone for 12 years this 48 reduces to three i feel somebody is in a marriage that's very cold there's no love there's no affection. It's just all business. Bills got to get paid. Check. Did you buy the groceries? Did you handle this bill? Did you handle that bill? That's the, you know, that's the basis of this connection. Very cold. Somebody that they're dealing with, someone that they're connected to is doing this. They're, they're doing some sort of ritual work to keep this person put, you know, to keep this person feeling obligated to make this person stay in that connection so that they could continue to handle the financial responsibilities of this relationship. There's no love here. This person is going to practitioners. This person is even have their, I'm hearing their mother, their grandmother, their auntie assisting them with these rituals. This is something that's in their lineage. This is like what they do. The women in this, in this particular family, that's how they keep the men straight they keep them in line that way that's what i'm picking up because there's four women here so this means that there's several people involved the grandmama the mama and the auntie and then the karmic and even if this is masculine energy that is doing these rituals they could be you know also having um assistance from some feminine spiritual practitioner there's no harmony no peace no love in this family in this dynamic the domestic harmony is at a 10. Someone has had it up to here, my dear. This is speaking to an ending. This is speaking to something that's done. Dead, stinking, and buried. But yet they feel what? Compelled. They feel obligated. They want a new beginning. They want a new start. They want a fresh start. This 46 is saying that there's some sort of end. There once was happiness and happiness. Um, you know, there once was happiness and peace in this connection. However, now it's like ritualized. It's like someone is not even their authentic selves in a connection because their energy is being manipulated. And all this person wants is a new start. Somebody wants to leave this situation behind and start afresh anew. And it goes the one here. I never even shuffled, so I got to put this back. Because this was, I was expounding on this and then it fell and then I picked up the other card that fell. So yeah, so this was just the bottom of the deck. So the 46 is showing me that there's no peace in this house and there's no peace because somebody's energy is being manipulated. Um, someone is absolutely like just using someone for money, um, using someone because they don't want to be independent. We saw the individuality card show up. So that's showing me that somebody's really codependent on another person. And, you know, they could be like even like emotionally manipulating someone gaslighting someone making someone feel guilty when they you know speak of wanting to you know be alone or to step out of the relationship because they're unhappy but somebody's like well what am I gonna do I got this big house all these bills you know and it's like at the end of the day like I'm supposed to stay here and be miserable because you bought a house because you got all these bills like that's that's not my job that is like people got to live their own truth but somebody is being like worked on and I strongly feel like there's family involved in this. Like family is involved in this spell, this 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 ritual, this charm that somebody is on. 
masculines y'all need to check like the 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 pillows i'm getting this download i read a book on magic and hoodoo and juju and things like that and um one of the things that i read was um some women sews uh they'll sew certain mojo bags inside of the pillow case um you know to keep a man put you know there's no way to really see everything but it's like when when you don't feel right trust that you know like i always encourage you guys if you don't see someone preparing your meal or pouring your drink then you absolutely shouldn't eat it you know because you don't know what was placed in it unless you're helping someone prepare the meals unless you're seeing someone pour your drinks i just heard a crazy story from um my um you know a, a sister i'm gonna call her my sister and um she had an encounter with a witch and the witch poisoned her she went to the house thinking they're gonna have a little girl's day she always feels this funny energy didn't trust her intuition the lady got drinks pre-poured sitting in the freezer talking about she was letting it chill i've never heard nobody pouring a glass of wine and putting it in the freezer to chill if anything you just chill the bottle and then you pour it from the bottle i want to see you take the plastic off i want to see the cork being pulled out of it and you pour in my drink that's not the case she drank and she felt like she was gonna die all right and then when she um when i suggested she do do um an egg cleanse and do a full sweep of her body she found a black you know um spot on the yolk which means that there's there was she that yolk sucked pulled whatever that entity energy was you know but that usually indicates like black magic being done or um some sort of sickness illness you know and and, the, and she's not a sickly person so it's like i told her to do like two more sweeps of her body just to make sure she gets it all out and then to also do like you know like a spiritual cleanse like literally do like an exorcism on her energy you know and do a couple of spiritual baths like seven of them but trust and believe we got people out here who's really into this dark magic you got a lot of youtube witches out here um you know just seeing shit and and having all this hate and 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 vile energy that they want to inflict upon other people because of their own insecurities and they out here concocting ish and messing around you know and performing these rituals on people and even some of them are desperate enough to even pay people to do this and any good witch is not going to just go and cause harm to another person without understanding you know most witches that are really in the practice for the right reasons they're not just going to go out there inflicting pain upon people without any just do you know because everybody has karma to pay so this right here when people are in this type of energy you got to be you know you got to keep your head on the swivel this is the type of person that is very much aware of you know whoever this person is dealing with whoever their karmic is dealing with they already know they already know that person is you know even trying to heal themselves that's why they're you know getting help additional assistance because they already feel this person kind of slipping away you know spirit is working with this person and telling them trust your intuition never submit your will to anyone never submit your will to anyone external to yourself not even to me a tower reader you come here and if it resonates cool but don't this is not like you know this is just me reading cards this is not me reading your future you know so you can never submit your will to other people this person i'm telling you whoever these people are they're gonna have a lot to pay karma is a mofo you know and karma also has everyone's address so like i said when you out here just throwing ish at people unjustly like you're gonna have to pay for that so why is ritual here for my divine feminine and masculine energy may I have a message of love and of light why is ritual here please why is ritual here may I have a message of love and light see they keep they're very hush you see i've been shuffling for a while these are hidden enemies this person got hidden enemies around them and we got the number three creativity here give me one moment pardon me that was my daughter calling her mama 
So we have creativity here, the number three. So this is the energy of the Empress. And so I feel strongly with this creativity here. I feel this could be like um, perhaps you, you beautiful divine feminine could be manifesting something. You know, somebody could really be manifesting um, some sort of, you know, new opportunity. You know, maybe tapping into your divinity as that divine feminine, co-creating with source, new, and you know, pr manifesting like, you know, new projects, working on new projects, new ideas, um, mastering certain crafts, honing skills, gifts, talents, um, tapping into that divinity, that creative energy, that artistic energy. Um, this could even speak to some of you all um, who could be pregnant with child. Um, this could be that energy also here, you know, um, cause I'm getting like, you know, this is, like I said, that Astara in another deck is the, um, got in the goddess guidance deck represents the Empress. Um, and here we see this number three. So I feel this could also be insinuating that they are doing some sort of ritual on someone who's, um, who's trying to birth something new whether that be something tangible physical um or something some new self you know birthing new ideas uh changing their ideologies their belief systems um but we have um can't knock the hustle plan by jay-z featuring mary j blige so they can't knock this this person's hustle meaning this person is going to outsmart them outwork them spiritually because they're in this very safe space you, as you can see they are in the womb of mother gaia so mother gaia is again this person's attuned with mother gaia very sensitive to energy very in tune with the frequencies the wavelengths the energies so they are already hip they're learning about these individuals and they're going to be very creative and outsmarting smarting them because i see here relationship change you see that so they are definitely going to make some sort of changes and leave that connection because remember we had 46 domestic harmony at a 10 and this one here is 56 which is 11 so your divine counterpart the yin to your yang because 11 is the um number of twin flame energy and four is also the vibration of twin flame. So if you are a divine feminine, your divine masculine is um, absolutely working um, themselves out of some sort of karmic cycle, karmic lesson. Uh, and it looks like they are being very creative in the ways in which they break free from whatever this ritualistic deed that has been done or thrown at them. Um, and I feel like this is someone that's uh, you know, being very strategic, that 56 reduces to 11, which reduces to two, uh, and two is the number of the high priestess, so it's like their intuition, their psychic, they're in tune, and remember, we saw spirituality 7-7, seven, seven. Um, and then we also have this intuition card, and I said, whenever we see double numbers, we know that that is you and the person you're attracting, mirroring one another in that same energy. This person is definitely um motivated inspired and encouraged to break free from this situation to cut free from this relationship to be single so that they could go after this divine feminine because this is where home is you know this is homeland this is this is the sun you know you are uh this person's mustering up that strength this is that person that sees you as um you know, that wish fulfillment sees you as that blessing, sees you as, you know, um, someone that brings happiness and joy into their life. So the two cards that dropped out is we have completion. See that? So that's why this relationship changes here, because they're finally completing this karmic cycle with this karmic psycho. This person that performs rituals, love rituals, spells, who uses their family, you know, who who is... Um, very very um cunning manipulative they're wrapping the cycle up nine is all about uh change it's the highest number of change and i feel like this person has seen the truth with this nine it's the purple card nine deals with the hermit and remember i was saying this is like someone like really in that meditative state 
getting things straight, contemplative state, learning, seeking the answers from within, also getting those downloads, getting those transmissions, and also receiving, you know, divine intervention. Well, that's what this is. This person completes the cycle with those, um, that karmic, with this karmic family even, um, to pursue what it is that they desire because they're trusting their own intuition. You know, this purple deals with the crown chakra, which is the psyche, you know, intuition, discernment. This is your ability to, to tap in. Um, someone seen something, something was revealed um, after, like I said, assessing and surveying a past situation. And we have the number, number 19, pride. So ego and pride, there's a death of someone, someone's ego, death of someone's pride. I feel someone was very... Um, very much stubborn they were s too stubborn to see the truth they refused to see the truth and this looks like um this is red on the inside of the uh, symbol there and so what that shows me is that someone had to go back to the root cause of the issue you know maybe they started to really analyze the whole connection you know, because like I said, when there's an adult, an adult in a womb, that means they're going through some sort of rebirth. You know, they are being sat down by spirit so that they can get a more evolved perspective. And someone's realizing their stubbornness, their pride has landed them in a situation where they are, you know, maybe they were um, not believing or trusting that someone would do something manipulating their energy and then there was some sort of epiphany maybe someone ate something and it made them very sick maybe someone noticed something observed something found something and I feel like they're being very strategic they're like very strategically planning you know how to get out of a relationship how to get out of a contract even you know manifesting something new perhaps in love this is really powerful energy here so let's see what we got coming and going out going on we're going to get the energy oracle deck and we have right now um large professor and the name of the song is called hungry and what sticks out to me you know more than anything was you know the professor reference you know i do feel somebody was um was learning somebody has learned something they've gone from being the student to now being the teacher so they 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 were taught something and now they have the ability to to teach others cuz i saw spiritual career so this spirituality card keeps popping up in my mind's eye where it was 7 7 so i feel you and this person really are very spiritual um spiritually strong uh, individually but together it will be like a powerful force uh, we have Archangel Mikael here on the bottom of the deck so you all are protected beloveds and I feel not only are you protected but I feel this union is protected because I just feel it's destined it's just something written in the stars I feel strongly this is a love like a twin flame or a cosmic companion there's obviously a very spiritually strong connection and we have magician and the mirror here and we have Archangel Mikael first chakra so the first chakra is the base. That's the root chakra. So I, as I said earlier with this 19, someone is dealing with root issues. Um, you know, perhaps, you know, this is when you analyze yourself. This is when you heal yourself so that you could love yourself. And then you then know thyself. So someone had to take it to the root cause you know, perhaps even going back as far as their childhood, going back to the relationships with their parents, going back to those feelings of um, feeling unsafe or insecure or feeling unprotected. Um, and that's why they built this false identity of someone very proud, um, someone very egotistical, allowing their ego to, you know, set the tone opposed to... Um, allowing themselves to be vulnerable when necessary. I feel strongly uh, when someone has this ego death, 
they're able to see something clearly because it's like the, the the blindfolds have been taken off and the illusion is no more because they're no longer operating and functioning under falsehoods uh faulty belief systems faulty ideologies and that's when they see that they need to wrap up a cycle with individuals with whom they could have been closely entangled with that was doing spell work on them so this has broken some sort of illusion um even the work they're doing on themselves because whenever you see an adult you know this is like an adult in you know a womb that means that there's like someone who is perhaps living in their second childhood being immature um childish um juvenile uh and so they had to start paying closer attention to their intuition and they had to also start you know really developing a healthy relationship with themselves you know learning what loving themselves actually means learning what love actually you know means how love is defined you know and so that's what this is this is about self-improvement this is about you know seeking higher wisdom knowledge learning but i feel spirit has sat someone down so that they can work on themselves and um, spirit is also giving them the necessary download so that they could heal and recover and come out of that rejuvenated. But this alchemist, this magician, this magi, this is what I feel spirit is allowing you the ability to do to, uh, you know, master the art of co-creating, manifesting, setting intention. That's that energy of the divine feminine and masculine. When you think of creating, that's really uh, what creating is. It's becoming the alchemist. It's setting that thought, turning that thought, you know, that I imagination and, and setting the intention to manifest it in the physical reality. So I strongly feel sh that some of you all, you know, there is a wish fulfillment that Archangel Mikael is, you know, approving and there's a victory that lies ahead for you as well uh, a major breakthrough a major um victory coming in because of some sort of painful ending loss um but it's like you you are still the victor and not the victim so whatever you had to heal from whatever um rejuvenated you it's like it it, it definitely did its due diligence to get you prepared for some sort of for some sort of um, successful outcome, positive outcome. So let's see what we got coming in, going out, going on for my collective energy, the yin and the yang spirit. Thank you. And we got Mary J. Blige destiny. So someone that's destined to be in your life. I feel they're healing, they're growing, they're working on themselves. And they're about to come in, beloveds. And I feel like this is, as I said, written in the stars, bottom of the deck. We have sixth chakra. And this is Archangel Metatron. So, again, sixth chakra deals with using discernment. This six and this four, this person, I'm sorry, this four and this four, which is eight. This is someone that absolutely is looking at you as a wish fulfillment. Someone mustering up the strength. Eight deals with the strength card. So they are, you know, taking control of their own subconscious thoughts. And they are going to come towards you. Four is, you know, like I said, that 1111. Um, that is the vibration of, you know, twin flame energy. So they are using discernment. You know, they're having to uh, trust what they're feeling. You know, the angels are working with this person because we saw Archangel open up the, you know, open up the deck with with that protective energy. The sword is representative of truth, illumination, uh, as well as cutting you free from the yokes, the hexes, the spells that were being done and concocted on this divine masculine. You know, with this invocation card, ritual card, rather, um, I feel that's why Archangel Mikael was you know showing up because it's just like that ritual is going to be it's going to be returned to sender reversed because archangel Mikael is protecting this union as i said and you also have this archangel that's providing this divine masculine or feminine who's sitting in this incubate um incubation state 
the intuition, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of a circumstance so that they can see things clearly. What did I say about strategy? And there we have strategy number 21, which is three. So this person is really trying to strategically plan a way to come towards their divine feminine or divine masculine because this is what they envision. This is destined because we have destiny planned by Mary J. Blige. This person has already assessed the situation. This is the divine masculine and the divine feminine in union. 21 reduces to three. That's the empress. And the four is the emperor. This person feels that they can have this happy family, knows that you will provide that stability, that, that happiness, that joy. There would be a happy ever after, a happily ever after. And there, this feather is showing that the angels, you know, the angels are protecting this connection. The angels is telling someone to plan accordingly, to be mindful, to be strategic because of these witches and warlocks on the side manipulating the energy someone is trying to interfere interrupt with what's destined it's hidden right underneath someone's nose these are secrets lies but i feel they will be exposed because this person is highly intuitive archangel metatron is assisting someone opening up their first eye and and decalcifying their pineal gland so that they could see the truth and that's why this victory is here and that's why this divine masculine is prepared to offer you love. Like they, they, they want to come in and make this commitment real. This is even someone, you know, feeling, you know, like they want to propose. They see your worth. They see your value. They feel you're attractive. They feel you're beautiful. So someone is absolutely being very strategic in how they approach you, knowing that they have to heal themselves. Because as I said, with the two watchtower cards, I just feel that's just speaking to someone um, secretly admiring you from a distance. You know, you may not have spoken to this person in a while, um, but this person watches you. And this is someone that you are um, not communicating with at this time. But they desire to, and they're going to be very strategic. I also feel that 21 in traditional tarot is associated with the world card. So this is speaking to the distance that could be between the two of you, not only physical distance where they may live in a different town or city or state than you, but also the emotional distance because there's a lack of communication. I feel both parties feel the pain and the hurt from the distance. That's why healing is here, you know is when you think of the number three, I'm getting three of swords. So the distance hurts and pains you too. You know, like I was uh, opened up the reading, um, burn, let it burn. I feel like someone's like it's burning someone up. It's burning, but it's a lesson, you know, and I feel like there's this this um, this effort to to be very strategic, very intentional um, to heal, to recover, to repair, because this six, six reduces to 12, which is three again also. And six is, um, you know, just giving me that lover, that past love, that past person that's going through their transformative time through their startling metamorphosis. But the three and the three is telling me that you both long for one another. And we have slum village soul. So this is your soul mate. Because three and three reduces to six, which is the lovers yet again. So no matter how you break it down, this is still the lovers vibration. So there is someone here who's uh, your past love, you know. This could be someone you've met in this reality and you're sitting here saying, oh, it's, you know, he's coming. Or this could be someone that you will meet and it'll feel like somebody you've known from you know, a former life, like you feel like you've known them all your life. But there's a very strategic method to this person's approach. They're coming in the right way because this is someone that does um, desire to build. They want to build a foundation. Remember, we saw homeland, you know, so this is someone that wants to come in and build. They want to grow. They want to plant seeds. They want to have that family. They want to have a unit. I have video footage um, 
about a week ago my children and I saw three re rainbows in one day and that rainbow is associated with Mama Oya you know all the weather you know um, the character Marvel character X-Men character Storm is um, fashioned after the great Mama Oya because she deals with the weather she controls the weather and so we saw three rainbows one was a double rainbow and then we drove on another part of town and there was another rainbow sitting in the sky. What a bliss in that day. That day was magical. It was magical. And it was on a Saturn's day. And I actually have the footage and I just might upload that separately. But it's like this is a sign that, you know, there's beautiful things coming in. Amazing changes. And I feel like this person is really trying to strategically um, plan you know, their re-entrance into your life to rebuild because this person has grown. They've learned something. They've been healing. You know, might I say they've healed because I feel you all have been healing and are healed. So why is um, death and healing here for my divine feminine, divine masculine energy? May I have a message of love and of light. Thank you, spirit. And we have the thinking man here. See that? That's the same as strategy strategically planning how to come in because they're going through some sort of ending so this is someone who's trying to um be very strategic this is someone very wise so their spiritual guides angels ancestors are really the ones um you know giving them the downloads on how to um approach you because they are you know completing a cycle wrapping up a cycle having to do some clearing clean clearing and cleansing um, because they do have hidden enemies there are some things that they are trying to clear up here it seems and there goes the second the seventh chakra see that so I feel strongly you know because this is seven and then the seventh chakra I strongly feel like you know perhaps this person has not like really expressed their feelings um, in the past feel like they've hid those feelings but how they truly feel about you is like you're the one that got away you know you're like a star you know this 85 reduces to 13 which is the four so I feel like this masculine energy even if it's a feminine energy I'm getting masculine because four is associated with the emperor I'm feeling like there's a strong sense that this person is realizing like you know they they have these feelings these deep emotions they've hid those feelings though and I feel like because you're so intuitive you may know that, like I said, when someone's constantly thinking of you and you're just running space in someone's mind or whether this is a vice versa situation, it's like you will pick up on that energy. You, you'll be able to uh, intuitively pick up on it. You'll start having dreams. It's just that's just the, the, the telepathic connection, you know, because remember, we saw spiritual partnership. So you all are very spiritually connected. There's some sort of tie there, some sort of soul tie, some connectivity. This person may dream of you or, you know, um, have lucid dreams, daydreams. So why is Watchtower of the East here for follow your dreams? Well, that person is thinking strategically on how to come in. You know, they're prioritizing um, what needs to be done. So they are healing first so that when they come towards you, they are, you know, standing erect. They're in their power. And not trying to heal from something from the past or not bringing in baggage and luggage, you know, they, they're really trying to clear up a cycle because they see that you are the divine feminine. You know, they want this new beginning to last. They want the situation to um, succeed. And there goes Archangel Mikael. So this is a protected union. I feel strongly Archangel Mikael. This is like a blessing you know to have an angel show up several times in a reading letting you know that you're protected letting you know that the karmic cords are being severed the yokes you know see that walking away this person's walking away to follow their dream and I feel the dream that they have is with you somebody's realizing that the connection that they're involved in or entangled in is not you know that their heart isn't in it and we have, um, who is this? We have um, Shaba Ranks, and this is called Mr. Loverman. 
So yeah, this person is definitely coming in, ladies. This is Mr. Lover Man. And I feel like this person is definitely making a choice. They're choosing you. And I feel that's why, you know, they're walking away because spirit has cut them free from something. I feel like Archangel Mikael cut them free from somebody that's been doing these spells on them. You know, I just get a sense of like spirit saw that someone was bound and stuck, you know, mentally, emotionally. And that sword, as I said, it cuts you free from the cords, yokes, the spells, but it also gives you the clarity. It's illuminating. So it has given someone the ability. And I feel there's a lot of support here in the spirit realm for this union. Just as I said, that community card represents like your angels and ancestors. I feel like spirit is strongly like freeing up someone. This walking away energy is like they're walking away to follow their dreams. You know, they're walking away to ensure that, you know, they're living their truth. They're following their heart's truest desires. And I do feel like this is blossoming. Like this is happening right now. And it's because of the work that's been done. It's because of, you know, the seeds that have been planted in good faith. And so next we have storm warning here. See this? So the storm warning is with this person when they confront whoever it is they reside with. There's going to be an explosive argument. Because I feel this person is saying to that individual, like, I'm no longer I'm going to stay on this lease. I'll give you the money or whatever it is. Because I feel like somebody realizes like they're being gaffled. They're being used. You know, they're being manipulated. And they're unhappy. You know, at the end of the day, with that 48, that reduces to 12. That's three. This could be somebody who's dealing with, you know, um, as I said, a fiance. And maybe they felt obligated, of course, because they, they love that person and because they've invested perhaps up to 12 years, maybe even, um, maybe it's been like 20 years, 28 years. Maybe somebody has known some someone since they were 12 or when they were in the 12th grade or the 10th grade. You know, I'm just getting a sense like they knew someone f since local youth them, you know, since they were younger. You know, and this could be that person that had to mature a little, learn to stand on their own, too. Because when you're in a relationship with someone for so long, you do become very codependent on one another because you're so used to splitting the bills and splitting everything. And then when someone ups and says, hey, I want to leave, I want to move on, I want to go do my own thing. It's like it can be kind of like a burden to have to let now carry 100 percent of the bills when you're so used to carrying perhaps like 50 or 60. Pardon me. My mouth was cotton, baby. But yeah, this is an ending. Someone finally asserting themselves and saying, look, I'm not doing this no more. I can't. Not even that I can't. I refuse to. You know, I'm talking about like this. This is, you know, I'm tired of the arguments. I'm tired of the emotional roller coaster rides. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of the fighting, the bickering. I'm tired of sleeping in the other room because you got an attitude. So now I got to go stretch my six foot ass down on a, a couch because you got an attitude, you know, what I'm talking about like, you know, I just feel like that masculine is going through the motions emotionally, like just emotional turmoil, just constant drama, constant, you know, fighting, arguing, and, and men don't like to fight, let's just be, keep it funky, men, men just wanting to chill, like they don't want to hear all that stuff, you know, but ladies are, women are very emotional beings, that's why it's very important to have somebody that understands your love language but also someone who's communicative and vulnerable and attentive when you just dealing with somebody who's just cold blooded and calculated and just you know you, you unapproachable like it's you know that energy is a clash you know that coldness and then that pink you know that green that love so i feel the masculine to me or whoever this person is that was like carrying all of the financial burdens was the one that brought a lot of the the love and empathy into the household whereas the other person like I said treated the connection or the relationship like a business arrangement like it was just like literally we're here residing under the same roof to pay bills and that's it there's no love and you know it, it just wasn't enough for someone else so there's a confrontation here someone's confronting something you know, and it leads to an ending. It leads to words being said that leads to some sort of explosive ending. Some sort of truth comes out, something that could have been hidden.
because this tornado is liable to destroy you know destroy that's why rebuild that's why foundation was there because i feel like somebody else is going through the same experience as their divine counterpart and next we have the sun you see how that happens when you when you confront your fears when you confront the things that needs to be addressed the sun can come out you know so this is like illumination and clarity just as i said you know finally seeing the truth someone realizes you're like home you're like food you're warm you're nurturing caring you're healing you just have a healing quality you know and we got jamie fox and this is called slow so I feel like with this person, things were very slow and stagnant damn near with whoever this karmic is. Because with Jamie Foxx, I feel like somebody was very slick. And I think it's the karmic who was, you know, performing these rituals. And I keep hearing love spells, love rituals, binding spells, you know, trying to keep someone with them. But the, the sun has come out to bring light on this very dark situation. So the light... You know, the sun is shining light on a situation that has been hidden for quite some time. I feel like somebody has been exposed, you know, and Archangel Mikael is sitting here looking at all of this foolery. And as I said, spirit will step in, universe, source, the divine, angels, they will step in when there's injustice. And when you have all these people working against little old you so that you could keep you know, funding something unbeknownst to you because somebody's manipulating your energy is like spirit gives the clarity. You know, the ego death allows someone to finally see the truth because it's like they've had, you know, that that epiphany of sorts. And once they cut themselves free, once they're broken from whatever this toxic entanglement is, there's joy, peace and happiness straight ahead. This is like that new beginning. This is that you know, voyage. This is like moving on to bigger and better. So let's tap in. We're going to use some tower cards. And then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, shit. So bottom of the deck. Didn't I say somebody sees you as a star? Wish fulfillment. There goes the star here. So you have some sort of... Um, past with this person I feel like you've been healing this person's been watching because the watchtower is here twice so I feel like this person has been watching you heal you've managed to turn your vulnerabilities into a superpower you've also managed to co-create with source you've been sending up your own prayers and petitions and for that I feel spirit is going to bless you with the rewards and recognition because you've done the work that's why spirit is like continue to follow your dreams, telling whoever you're attracting because they're entangled in something. So they too have to walk away and heal and learn the lessons. 27 is like the nine of wands I'm getting, you know, setting up the boundary because you finally see something clearly. See that this person's realizing you're the one that got away. You know, you was the one that spirit blessed them with and they didn't see it at the time. Because they had all these other options, you know. They was all egotistical and proud, too stubborn to accept the offer spirit was given them. And so that's why there was a need for them to, you know, sit down and gain a deeper, more profound understanding. But it's like this person is realizing, I should put it this way, because they're reminiscing on the love they have. They took things very slow with you, whereas with this other person, they probably really invested more time and energy and they got themselves entangled in something. This person definitely thinks the world of you. There's something beautiful coming in. I feel like there's not only a yes answer, but there's a couple of blessings, rewards, prayers, answered prayers. And it's that six of cups. See that? This person from the past is coming back, returning to tell you that they think the world of you, that you are the one that got away with this follow your dreams I just strongly feel like that's this person returning back to you with the six of cups and the star. This is this person like really, con, you know, um, confessing their feelings. They have to first walk away from that person. And that's exactly what they're doing. So they're going through some sort of ending. And remember, I said with the 21 that showed up, um, that was the um, that was the same as the world card. 
you know, 21 represents the world in traditional tarot. Well, here goes the world. So it's like you've come full circle. That's why there's this victory. It's like you have evolved, you know, to the point where you are spiritually strong. So you know how to co-create. Your person has also graduated. There is distance between the two of you emotionally, mentally. Um, but I feel like there's still uh, a spiritual connection, a soul tie. Because we saw spiritual partnerships. So your souls are definitely um, connected you know, on a deeper level. What did I say about conflict, confrontation, arguments, fights? This person is wrapping up this cycle and there's people who are trying to prevent the ending from happening. These are the individuals who are in competition, who are the, you know, the yes men, you know, those are the, the dozers, those are the dun 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 See this? That nine of cups is, not only is that just feeling emotionally fulfilled, satisfied, um, content, you know, all on your own. This is being a very, you know, this is more selfish, you know, energy, because this is about making sure you're straight emotionally. That's what this person realizes they have to do. You know, they also see you perhaps as, you know, someone that will emotionally fulfill them. You know, they see you as perhaps that nine of cups, someone who's, you know, maybe this is them because 27, nine, um, I just feel like, you know, that nine is really about being selfish, doing what's best for you and not just doing what you feel obligated to do. And if you look on that nine of cups depiction, there's a big old smile on that masculine's face. There goes the heartbreak, you know, so something ends in a very painful matter, you know, but it has led to the, you know, emergence, the transformation. See that the death, this is cycles coming in, you know, coming to completion. This is learning karmic lessons, but this is also emerging wiser, stronger, more powerful. And that's the death card. And remember, the death card also came out along with the healing. So this is the death. So that's that rebirth. Remember um, the um, rebirth of slick. And there goes the healing. So healing from that painful loss, painful ending. And the world always indicates, you know, that energy of someone who has um grown matured ascended graduated leveled up it's all karma dharma baby there goes justice so you reap what you sow the good deed you do come back to you the bad deed you do will also come back to you because mama my aunt has everyone's address so balance is being restored there's something that's being handled fairly and justly in this whole situation and scenario and there's also this beautiful union perhaps a marriage in your future I feel like with justice, I feel like spirit is saying, you know, there is um, an opportunity for this chariot. Remember, I mentioned the chariot. This person is coming in for justice. I feel this person is coming in, seeking justice with you, rushing in towards you, wanting to confess a truth, speak a truth, balance things out, restore the balance because they feel left out in the cold. Maybe they've abandoned you. They've received karma. You know, maybe because you were abandoned, you're receiving your karma, you know, and your karma could be coming into union with a twin flame or having someone that is, you know, a divine counterpart returning and apologizing. I feel with this sword, you know, the sword is down or I mean, the sword is up, pardon me. So there is like some sort of truth coming in. And we have a tribe called Quest and this is um, called Excursions. And it's, I just missed 444 on the clock. So excursions. And 444, a 445 still reduces to um, 4. And 4, like I said, is the um, divine masculine. It's associated with that divine masculine. So I feel that they are coming in to express love. That 4 deals with the heart chakra. Um, but also to, you know, cause remember we saw the divine masculine and we also saw that they had these feelings and these emotions that they hadn't, you know, confessed or expressed. So let's go ahead and see. So that for the emperor, somebody could be coming in, being assertive, being honest, going after they want what they want. Remember, let it burn. So they've learned some sort of harsh lesson from a karmic connection here. And we have the Queen of Wands. So this is who this person is having to pay close attention to. Because the Queen of Wands can be very fiery. Remember, burn. And I was picking up fire energy. 
and burned. I feel like this person was burned by this Queen of Wands. This person is now learning. They're paying attention to their intuition. This Queen of Wands also has, um, you know, the type of energy that seems to be very, um, she could be very calculating, you know, before she takes action. She's also very watchful. So she's watching something with this Four of Wands here. This person knows someone is planning to perhaps reunite with someone that they feel is their twin flame. Remember, I mentioned 1111. There goes the twin flame card. Someone is strategically planning to get out of a situation that they are feeling a lot of pain. They're healing from that connection. They've had to learn some lessons, karmic lessons, pay off karmic debts. And they have this watchful eye, you know, on them. And that's why they're being very strategic. Remember, we saw strategy and the, the feather. Well, this is that same energy of strategy because he has two feathers. So it's like trusting their own intuition so that they could come into union with their divine counterpart, their divine feminine, someone that they love, someone that they feel they could, you know, plant seeds, roots, you know, compromise, have that happy house, happily ever after, you know, that like mind, someone on the same wavelength, someone that stimulates them, someone they feel brings joy, happiness, someone very wise, nurturing, maternal, paternal, even. This is that thinking man or thinking woman figuring out how to get out of a situation that's very turbulent, loveless. It seems very much like, you know, a job. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to get out of um, some sort of marriage or out of some sort of uh, contractual agreement, whether it be a marriage, whether it be, you know, a lease agreement, whether it be, you know, pay, uh, paying half of the bills. It's like somebody's trying to figure out how to to break free so that they could walk away and walk towards, you know, their wish fulfillment, their dream, follow their dream even, you know, follow their hopes and desires. And we have flowetry, mistress. So this mistress, the mistress, the Queen of Wands is typically seen as the mistress because she's very attractive and she's like, you know, passionate. And mm -hmm. So let's see what we got. So why is death here? So the mistress and it's spelled Ms. like MS stress. So this person was definitely stressed out by dealing with this person. Because I do feel like she's very fiery and can be very argumentative, my way or the highway, controlling. And she's the type that will try to, like, do some sort of um, love spells or rituals to control a person, contain a person, you know, bind a person. So why is the um, death card healing and the thinking man here? She's definitely keeping a watch on this masculine. You see how she's watching? She's watching this masculine, keeping a very keen eye on what they're doing. But this masculine is very much aware because with an intuition and Archangel Metatron with the sixth chakra, that's the first eye. They're also aware. They're watching. So they're showing them what they want them to see. You know, they're, they're very much aware that they're being spied on, you know. So let me see. Why is death card here? along with healing and the thinking man. See that? And we have the ten of swords. See that? So what did I say? A very painful ending, a loss. That's why burn was playing. Let it burn. Because you had to learn. Somebody learned something. And then the towers right underneath that, along with the world card. And what did I say about spirit will sit you down so that you have to have um, that moment to assess, gain a more evolved perspective. And someone sees clearly that this was all, a, you know, this was a setup for them to grow because the world card, even though it speaks to you having to master all of the elements. So you have to go through all of the tumultuous and, 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 and adverse circumstances in order to gain that knowledge and wisdom, that higher, deeper, more profound understanding of yourself, of relationships. So you could become more socially aware, you know, like and but look what it took. It took the ten of swords to the back this is betrayals this is secrets you know the clouds are finally dissipating where you know there's there's some ability to see but this is where this person was they were completely in the dark at one point in time and these swords were inserted by people they trusted 
So there was individuals around them. They was moving around vultures and unbeknownst to them. So that's why it's very important to trust your intuition, you know, but they felt deceived. The tower, I mentioned the tower because I was seeing the tower in my mind's eye as I was describing a circumstance. And with this tower, it's just speaking to the lies and illusion, spirit having to step in and having to, you know, burn the tower down because of all the deception, all of the illusion, all of the lies and the trickery. And, and that person not paying attention to the many red flags. So it's like going through those experiences absolutely led to someone emerging. This could be your energy because I spoke on, you know, some of you all that are watching the video are currently going through that dark night of the soul journey, whereas others of you are now completing the healing process of that. So there is that combination of some that are still walking that journey of recovery, of discovery, but then there are those who are healing, you know, so there's more of this, this energy of like rejuvenating yourselves. But this is speaking to a graduation. You know, this is that same energy and vibration of like, you know, mastering yourself, mastering circumstances. The 21 is the last card of the major arcana. So you go through a lot of turmoil, a lot of trauma, a lot of painful circumstances, experiences, endings so that you can emerge wiser, sharper more in tune, more attuned. And this is a major victory because it shows that you've mastered all elements, water, fire, earth, and air, and ether and spirit. And so someone here is in that hermit mode. That's what the incubation feels like to me. You know, when you're in incubation, it's like spirit sits you down. You know, it's a very, a very powerful energy of like being, you know, um, being in under studentship, you know, and forced to look at things uh, from a, an evolved perspective. And it looks like someone totally has, you know, that grand epiphany and they ha see something clearly. We have the um, judgment card here. So judgment is speaking to someone who is from your past or someone is making a decision about ending a situation. Um, as you can see here, there's people coming out of what appears to be like coffins. So this is definitely like a wake up call of sorts. Someone having a major wake up call, a major epiphany here about their relationship after a major transformation or ending after some sort of tumultuous circumstance. It's like now they're looking at things um, more logically. And it's like they're learning from these experiences as well. So here goes that that epiphany, that aha, you know, like, OK, I got to walk away. And not only do I walk away, but I need to go after my dreams. I need to be more assertive because spirit has acknowledged, you know, the seeds that have been planted in the past. That's why there's blossoming things. Opportunities are blossoming. So why is spring here? Follow your dream and the walking away for my divine feminine and masculine. There goes the queen of cups. So this is a very emotionally intelligent person. Someone has definitely become very emotionally in tune, realizing boundaries need to be set. Walking away is the best, you know, best um, decision for them. And it's because, you know, now it's time for them to live for themselves, you know, to prioritize their needs, wants and desires, opposed to prioritizing that of this person who's overbearing, controlling, demanding even. So it's like spirit is saying, like, clearly, um, you deserve to be happy. You know, you you deserve everything that you desire. We we've recognized, you know, the seeds that you've planted. We recognize the hard work, the effort to transform, the effort to to change your circumstance. So it's like the first step is to walk away from what's toxic, from what's no longer serving you. This is the highest number of change, changing one's ideology and belief system and, and establishing a solid foundation after that tower. Now also this this person you're attracting or this could be you, whomever I'm speaking to, it's like now there's that sense of rebuilding, you know? This is the rebuilding process, but also like first establishing, you know, basic, you know, self-care, which is boundaries, not allowing people to overstep them. You can see clearly someone had you effed up 
because you can see all those clouds. Clouds always denote like, you know, someone gaslighting you, someone painting illusions of delusion or illusions of grandeur, just someone very manipulative. Um, and now you can see clearly because the clouds are kind of like dissipating and falling away. And, and now you see something and you're you're willing to fight to the death. You know, whomever this is, I feel like they really know that you're very guarded. Um, you may have felt like you were, you know, um, kind of like mine ucked a little bit, you know, because he's wearing like a bandage on his head. So that just tells me that there was a lot of perhaps mental conflict, confusion. Um, you know, there was some sort of perhaps, you know, um, trauma, you know, psychically, you know, mentally, maybe somebody was you know, emotionally abusive, um, psychologically abusive, just a lot of hurt, you know, but I see here where now there's this, this, this very, um, powerful stance of, of saying enough is enough, no more, because you still have fight in you, you know, this is still that passion. And so you are finally walking away. And this queen of cups here on the bottom of the deck is telling me like, you know, this is really about healing thyself. Um, and also learning to love yourself. There's three angels on the back of this throne. So you may have three angels that are very um, protective over you. We already have Archangel um, Mikael that's been watching over you. And now we have Archangel Metatron here. Um, I won't be surprised if another angel pops up. But this is showing me that there is, um, you know, protection over this union. Um, I feel this love connection is really protected. I also feel this person is listening to their intuition, to their emotions, because there was a lot of trauma, you know, and they love this person. Whoever this is, they really strongly um, have love. I feel the love is something that will never go away because maybe this is like a first love or somebody that they grew up with. So this could be like childhood sweethearts, which is why they felt that that sense of obligation, even though um, the relationship had grown cold and distant, uh, which is why you weren't hearing from them because maybe they were going through a depression. Um, whatever it is, it, it's been very tumultuous, um, constant, constant emotional roller coasters, constant fights, conflicts, confrontation, arguments. And not only is it with this person, but it's like family gets involved. It's just the whole thing. And so I just feel like finally, um, they realize that, you know, they have to love themselves. They got to take care of themselves. Um, and that's the decision they're going to make to w walk away, to move on, um, you know, to make the change, to work on themselves even because this 48 is three and the 10 is one because um, that 48 is 12. So I strongly feel like this person, this is the um, divine masculine you know, who's in a cold, you know, even if it's not the divine masculine, whoever the divine masculine is attracting to them is in a, bit, a very cold relationship that feels just like, it just feels like it's business. So why is winter, uh, watchtower of the north, um, 48 financial discipline and 10 storm warning here. And voila, look what flew out. See that? I said it was very cold. I said there was going to be conflicts and look at this. Didn't I say that storm warning? This was like hostile energy, just arguing, bickering, fighting, confrontations, family getting involved. This is someone that wants to win at all costs, someone who's very calculating, cunning, um, very masterful and manipulating people to get them to do what they want. Look at this smug look, you know, and these people are kind of just like walking away to say, you know what, like you win. Like, you know, if that's how you get down, it's like they feel defeated. But at the end of the day, it's like nobody wants to sit there fighting, you know, like nobody wants to sit around and just be fighting all the time. So I feel like that's really what's making someone feel like, you know, OK, enough is enough. And and whoever this is, um, as I said, you know, this is someone who does this all the time, like in all of their relationships. This is the way they get down, like they want to one up people. It's their way or no way. It's just a very confrontational type of energy. And I found another card on the floor and we have 81 leadership. So this is you, I feel, um, attracting someone now who's like bossing up. Somebody who's definitely with that nine completion. I feel like they, you know, transform into this boss, you know, taking the reins over their life. This is like a bonus message that I just found on the floor and I just... You know, spirit said, put it down. 
So this is absolutely what this person transformed into. So we got 9, and then we have 19, and then we have 81, which is 9 again. So they complete this cycle with this karmic psycho, and it's because they release whatever ideologies, belief systems, behaviors, habits, uh, you know, and, and, and they come into a boss mentality, you know. They become more assertive. They start to see, you know, um, that they have to take control the reins of their own life. And that's what's going to lead them to this, this happiness, this peace, this joy, and ultimately the victory that we saw. What did I say about strength? You know, that person needing to assert themselves and stand in their power. And they're getting this from straight from source. The sun, you know, provides. It's like a life force for us. You know, it's food for us as well, for our our, um, our cells, our bodies, you know. Um, well, plenty of us, I know I um, like to sun gaze. Uh, I feel like it kind of decalcifies my pineal gland. It helps me to have clarity, you know. And so I do feel someone's um, getting stronger because they are parting ways, because they've walked away from someone, and also because Archangel Mikael is protecting them, protecting them from some sort of energy um, that's manipulating theirs. So why is ritual, completion, pride, leadership, and the sun here for my divine feminine, divine masculine energy? May I have a message of love and of light spirit. Okay. Five of cups and the king of pentacles. See that? So I feel this person is going to be mourning the loss of this connection because they are absolutely dependent upon this king of pentacles. I was picking up someone, especially with this financial discipline here, someone who was, you know, the, um, they were the, um, the breadwinner of the family. They were the one who was the support of the family and this is why they're trying to force someone to stay to feel obligated they are going to be mourning the loss of this person because all of their trickery and devilishment is catching up to them remember karma dharma justice showed up so they're going to receive karma for their actions their karma is going to have to watch this person move on with their life empowered stronger and in a spiritual union, happier also. But this is what this person is doing. They're mourning the bag, the plug. This is what they're doing. They're going to have regrets, big regrets, because that person means business. They're leaving. It's the death of this connection. So the same pain that this person you're attracting is feeling currently is the same pain the karmic is going to feel once this person departs. Because this transformation is inevitable and they will start taking action, moving out of this space of feeling betrayed, deceived, stuck in their head, confused. This is what was happening, emotional manipulation, something fishy. I feel like somebody was feeding someone things that was making them sick, making them confused, making them conflicted. This is all of that same energy with all tied up. This is like karmic cords, binds. This is like stuck, you know, this is the attachments even. That's what the devil does. It will have you bound. It will have you bound to them. But this is what happens. When this person finally deads that situation, literally and figuratively, like gets rid of this person and cuts them off, they come in and after you. They're charging for full speed ahead towards whatever it is they desire, whatever their dreams are. And Archangel Mikael is here to oversee this because at the end of the day, as I said, there's been injustice here. When someone's energy is being manipulated, it's really truly an injustice. There's really, you know, that, that spiritual um, parasite has to be purged. So let's go ahead. We're going to clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. So look what we have here, sudden wealth. Some of you all will be blissed with some sort of financial opportunity, miracle, wish fulfillment here, job opportunity, perhaps business loan. So I see official person and sudden wealth. So perhaps your sudden, your, your official person, you know, because we have the king of pentacles here. Maybe your official person is very wealthy. This is somebody who got their ish together, their coins together. They got the Midas touch. That's why this 
the, this feminine energy, this masculine energy, whomever this is, king of pentacles could be a queen or a king, whomever it is, the breadwinner. Um, that's why this person is holding on tight. That's why this person is stalking them, watching them. Yeah, I have a message of love and life for my divine feminine, divine masculines, for the collective energy spirit. I have a message of love and of light for my divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Thank you, spirit. I have a message of love and light. I see sudden wealth again on the split, all of that. An official person. So your person that's coming in, I feel like when they come in, money's coming. Whoever this is, they're coming in, they're willing to like... You know, they're going to be very supportive. They're going to help you build your dreams. They're going to be willing to invest with you. I was picking up because I saw a spiritual partnership and I also saw, um, you know, spiritual career. Some of you all are coming into a spiritual union with someone that you will also go into like business with. This is somebody that will be a spiritual practitioner, same as you. So you could be, say, for instance, like a channeler, a reader, a tarot card reader. Uh, maybe you're someone who scries and you provide services and then your person will come in and they could be someone who makes like ouds and, um, you know, candles, protective candles. Uh, maybe they provide, you know, or make uh, protective jewelry, crowns, wands. So so it's like you two together will come together and like merge um, business ideas and business and it will be very successful. And you will also become married because we got marriage on the bottom of the deck. This person sees you as marriage material. That's why they're coming towards you. They're breaking free from a karmic because they know that, that the time is up. The jig is up. Karmic contract is, is up. And now they're ready to come towards their actual divine counterpart. Their feminine, divine feminine. Somebody's coming in for marriage. They're not coming into play. This person is coming in very intentional. And we have um, cut close. And this is called um, I like. So they feel that you both are like cut from the same cloth is what I first heard with cut close. I also feel like with I like this person really likes you. Not only do they love you, but they like you. They like, they like the person that you are. You know, they like how empathic you are, nurturing you are, caring you are. So we got a couple of cards here. The first card that flew up in the upright is message of concern. So this person, when they emerge from this hermit mode, from this very introspective, meditative state, contemplating on everything that they're dealing with or everything they've dealt with, when they emerge out of this incubation state, they're going to come out and they're going to start spitting facts. They're going to start asserting themselves, speaking their truth. They're going to start following their intuition and using discernment, especially in regards to a relationship with this queen of wands. Remember mistress, and that's exactly what she's causing. A lot of arguments, fights, explosive arguments. You know, perhaps p police have been called. Family members have been involved. This person is definitely going to receive a message like, look, um, I think we need to keep it pushing. And this is going to cut close, you know, um, to their heart because it's like you get back what you what you give. So with this 14, this number five, that's definitely I'm feeling like this person that was very argumentative. This person is saying, look, I don't want to live here. They might send them a, a actual letter and be like, look, I, I'm moving out, you know, because they, they it just got so toxic one night that they don't even want to return back to the place. So we got a couple of messages here on the bottom on the deck. We got great fortune. So I absolutely feel it is your destiny. There is a wish fulfillment, a blessing, an answered prayer, something, a petition that you've sent up. Maybe even something you've been manifesting during the 8-8 eight eight portal, uh, during the, you know, the um, Lion's Gate. You all have manifested something and it's coming in. This is bringing, bringing in blessings, major breakthroughs financially. Perhaps some of you all are going to receive like a job offer, promotion, a bonus, a pay increase, a bonus. Uh, I mean, a job loan. Um, but there is some sort of fortune some sort of abundance, some sort of prosperity, major breakthroughs financially for you all. And so we have, look at that. This is this person here. It says privileged lady. So this person from the past is absolutely uh, seeking, you know, seeking your, um, your approval for them to return into your life. Like they are seeking, you know, not even validation, but uh, perhaps they are desiring your forgiveness. 
um, because this person is awakening to how they feel about you. This person sees you as that empress. This 12 reduces to three. Remember, we also had the thinking man. So they're being very strategic because they absolutely see you. Remember, we had a lore plane. And so that person absolutely finds you to be alluring, attractive, even if you're masculine, very dapper, debonair, handsome, uh, well-kempt. Um, the 66 is also 12. That's three. So there's a strong desire for this person to heal uh, the connection that they feel they have with you uh, while also healing themselves first and foremost. So they're being very strategic because they know in order to come towards you, this divine feminine, this empress, this goddess, uh, this god, this king, this emperor, uh, whomever you may be, they know that they have to have their ish together. They have to be very strategic, very intentional because this person is a very... Um, um, very attracted to you. This person also feels you're different. You're rare because uh, we have Tiana Taylor, just different. So this person is a drawn to you uh, because you're different, uh, because you move to the beat of your own drum, because you're very wise, nurturing, attractive, paternal, maternal, because you are very uh, empathic. You know, this person is being very, very strategic, intentional with how they come towards you. And this is someone you are familiar with, because, as I said, with this, these these um, beings here in the box, I just feel like they've been hidden away for quite some time. And now they've had some sort of wake up call. Um, spirit is awakening them, preparing them, perhaps aligning them with what is destined for them because remember what Mary J. Blige said destiny so whoever this is I feel like this person is destined to be in your life and you theirs uh, this person is going to be very chivalrous uh, this person even if it's feminine she's going to be very attentive very um, caring and I feel you both will have a very abundant fulfilled emotionally financially uh, connection relationship and so we have here next, see this, we have a um, despair and this energy here, someone is absolutely going to be shook. And every time we speak of this person's karmic, there's a five. So this is that person that's constantly in conflict. They're going to be in despair when this person chooses to walk away. You see this energy? First, they were sitting there all smug, laughing, because <laughs> they think they got one up. They're carrying all these swords. You know what I'm saying? Whereas these people completely said, you know what? I, I'm not playing this game no more. So the game that this person is playing ends up being a game that costs them, you know, potential um, love, you know, and also stability. Because if you look, this this person's in despair because they they have no money. And remember, the person I was picking up on that you are attracting is obviously the breadwinner they're they're taking care of the responsibilities which is why uh that person that's doing the rituals and spells is trying to manipulate them emotionally and mentally because they're trying to control the finances and the only ways to do that is by you know binding this person to them so now there's despair someone is in despair because someone is finally setting up the boundaries finally choosing to walk away and go after their dream that could be uh, opportunities in their career opportunities of their desire or even just opportunities in love whomever this is this is who they've emerged as someone completely different that's fearless they've changed the way that they're thinking and this person that they are walking away from is going to be in complete despair and even um feeling very remorseful and regretful because this is five as well five of cups and it's because they're realizing that person was very loyal very faithful and their lack of loyalty ends up biting them in the ass remember karma dharma you get out what you put back or you get back what you put out there pardon me and so next we have courtship see that so this person is choosing to walk away. This is the number four. So this person was very charming, very intentional with this person. And whomever they were dealing with was very unappreciative, very, um, you know, they feel almost entitled to someone's money. Maybe they were used to this person 
um, taking care of everything and maybe they guilt trip this person because maybe in the beginning, you know, they were very attentive and they did all these things. So someone would argue, well, why can't you be like you well, like you were in the beginning? And, you know, but this person here, this is just showing the character of that masculine because this four is telling me the emperor. I was feeling the emperor energy all throughout this reading like that's the one that's really waking up to the truth going through this rebirth with that incubation and finally seeing someone that they're dealing with a karmic even if it's a feminine but i'm picking up strong masculine and all these fours are just proving that but i just feel that this person was really genuine really loved this person but realized this was a cold ass connection they was the only one putting forth the effort you know what I'm talking about? Like this house that they lived in with this person, it was cold. I feel a lot of times they didn't even rest in the same bedroom. There was a lot of explosive arguments, disagreements, and this five of swords proved that. And um, I feel like this person was just, you know, dealing with someone who just wanted them to handle the financial res um, responsibilities because of codependency. Remember the, the uh, card? Um, showed up about independence so someone had to learn to stand perpendicular in their square and not be emotionally manipulated to doing something out of obligation look at this unexpected income is the last card that came out and remember great fortune is here so someone is definitely um, going to receive major blessings once they get rid cut chop do a a, a, a fire ceremony, whatever it is you need to do. Um, there's a epiphany. There's some sort of flow, answered prayers. Somebody is going to regret what they've done because they're going to see this, this blossoming abundance, this prosperity, this success, this fortune, this fame, all of these amazing blessings, all of these amazing opportunities start to pour in when someone finally asserts themselves and walk away and change you know, the way that they're thinking, to change the way they're behaving, change even their perspective on certain people, because this right here is showing like someone is not aware of their circle. They're not aware of, you know, how their circle is uh, perhaps manipulating their energy, very jealous, very envious type of energy. And with that 81, the leadership card, I strongly feel like there is um, someone who kind of wakes up and, and takes the reins of their life. And there's going to be a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, a lot of ruminating and pining and singing them coulda, shoulda, woulda blues because someone finally walks away and they're living their happiest, greatest, you know, most purposeful life without that other person, which is very telling of how toxic and manipulative that energy actually was now they could come into union with someone this is two people who have an equal give and take equal give and take of love emotional satisfaction joy and then there is this energy of finally like taking action going after what you want very passionately and lovingly making decisions you know to making the decisions where you it's a head over heart decision I see reunions, celebrations. There goes that King of Pentacles again. Somebody coming in with the intention to marry, to propose, longevity, legacy, family, you know, building a business. I told you someone was watching. And this is somebody that's watching you that wants to speak to you. But they're still a little fuzzy if you look at the clouds here. It's like this is that person that's kind of getting all of this residual ritual juju boo bull crap off of them and they're still they're seeing things clearly though they know what they want when they envision love they envision themselves with you in union with you this is what they want this is what they wish to express to you confess to you even that they love you that they because that ten of cups is like happy house happy spouse see that new beginning someone wants a new beginning with you where they could build this is beautiful so I told y'all the three and the four, the emperor and the empress is here on the board. And I just see someone getting, you know, back what they put out there. Reap what you sow. So whoever that karmic is that's like resorting to all the spell work, um, they're going to be very, um, they're going to be very sad when this all plays out. 
because Archangel Mikael does not play. When he shows up and he doesn't show up often, that's when you know there's really like an injustice. That's when you know there's really some vile, nasty, negative energy that needs to be cleared up. And he's here to clear it up, beloved. That sword is the sword of truth. So we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is somebody who's now realizing how nurturing, down-to-earth, caring, kind, beautiful, regal, royal, sweet, sensitive, healing, you know, you are. They now see your worth and value. You may be single. This person is looking at you now, looking at you because, you know, they, they are sending a message to whomever they're with, that mistress, the one that's stressing them out, because now they look at you and this is what they see. They see you very single, very independent, taking care of yourself. And we got TLC, get it up. This person can't even get it up for the person they're with. They can't even. And this is that person that was like out there that was like unreliable. You know, maybe they was immature in the past. They had to get rid of their play ways, kind of out there for everybody. And then they got locked down with this person. And I feel like it got to the point where they couldn't even get it up, you know, like, you know, they, they couldn't even get hard. They couldn't, you know, they were having some erectile dysfunctions when it came to this karmic because of her, just her vile energy is just like they couldn't even get hard for that person. Like they just, they didn't even have it. They couldn't even show that person the tender love and care, you know, with TLC, I'm picking up that energy too, but get it up. It's like they couldn't even get hard, a hard on for that person, you know. And this is somebody who's usually out there like just, you know, just swinging, dangling. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But they couldn't even get it up. Like th that says a lot. You know, when a masculine can't get it up, there's, for, there's two reasons. You know, the, the freshness isn't there. <laughs> Let's just say it like that. Or maybe they're just not into it. They're not into that. They're not into that person. And they're trying to like trick the mind into think, you know, the, tricking the big brain or the little brain into you know, doing what the big brain wants them to do. And it is just like, you know, so the miscommunication is there. But with this, the Knight of Wands, I just feel like, yeah, they couldn't get it up. Um, You know, for this person, it just got to the point where they realized, like, they need to start healing. They could have contracted, like, a spiritual transmitted disease from this person. This could have been, like, an incubus, a succubus type of energy, you know. And all they could think about, all they was thinking about was this divine feminine, this connection they had with you. It became crystal clear the 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 feelings they had, the emotions they had towards you, you know. Maybe they also, you know, look at pictures, and um, perhaps they, you know, self pleasure. We got the five. See the five of cups. See this. This is powerful here, because this five of cups. This person is definitely coming into this realization. I feel like they're about to come towards you. They're about to bust that move, and this person is like, whoever is stalking them, because the same five, 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 everything is five, with that conflicting energy, that karmic, you know, that person that wants to fight and argue all the damn time. They're going to be sitting here regretting all of their actions, because look at the Queen of Swords, cutting yourself free from all of the yokes, hexes, spells, someone finally gets that epiphany, sees everything clear as day, that's why they're mustering up that strength to finally walk out of this, this imprisonment, this gate. You know, this house, whatever they were feeling trapped in, they're finally walking through the gates and they're establishing boundaries. Because that Queen of Swords, this is what you transform into after you go through something tumultuous. You know, that 85 following your dreams, that's because there was, you know, some sort of death of a circumstance. And you have no choice but to now f say, okay, so where to now? You know, and it's like, yo, let's go do what we want to do now. So the Queen of Swords, that's the, the logic. Start thinking logically. Start seeing things from that bird's eye view and also purging, releasing. Even this is very indicative of the, the release ceremonies, you know, that I was speaking of in the beginning of the reading where, you know, cutting yourself free, cutting things out, cutting people out. This person's in despair because they finally see, you know, that you see them. And if it's not you, it's the person you are attracting to you. Their karmic realizes they're seen. This is somebody that was codependent. And it's the time to cut the karmic cords. And we have energy playing by Iman Omari. So someone started to peep the energy of a person. Like I said, frequency doesn't lie. Energy doesn't lie. Somebody just simply wasn't on the same wavelength as another person. You know, start growing apart. See that? 
And that's why they're very, very guarded. The seven of wands is like blocking out this energy. This person is feeling it now. They're being very intentional. They're not giving them no time, no attention. They can't even give it up, you know, get it up. Maybe this is someone who's used to be being able to use sex, whoever this, you know, this, uh, this mistress, this old vile person, this karmic, they used to using sex as a means to getting what they want. And that's not even working because this person is super guarded, super duper guarded. They are so guarded that it's not even funny. And it's because energy doesn't lie. The energy of this person, they've picked up on it. They realize it's not, it's not healthy for them. They realize that this person is toxic and they want out. And the three of wands is here. So this person is definitely, you know, strategically planning, you know, their exit plan, their exit strategy. They're really being very meticulous on how to do this. They, they're assessing things even, like even surveying, observing, assessing like, you know, the past and how things, you know, because they want to make sure they're not just jumping, you know, to conclusions that they should, you know, move in this way. Like they want to make sure they're doing the right thing too. So it's like they're sitting here like, you know, kind of like planning, preparing, strategizing, you know, this is that energy of like ready, set, go. Like, am I sure? Do I really want this? But they're reflecting back and they're seeing how, yo, I've been nothing but a gentleman. I've been nothing but a lady. And all I got was arguments. All I got was drama. All I got was I need, I want, I got to have demands. You know, it wasn't loving. It wasn't warm. You know what I'm saying? If this is a masculine, feminine didn't even believe in cooking. You know what I'm saying? Didn't even clean, didn't do none of the things that perhaps the masculine grew up seeing the feminine energy in their households and their families do. You know, that was a challenge. You know, to have this new millennium ass perspective where it's like we're going to do takeout every night. And it's like, yo, can we cook a meal? You know, can we can we not buy out all the time? Do we always have to go out and just spend money and splurge? And, and it's because it was on their dime. And then they finally said, you know what, enough is enough. I've been a gentleman, you know, even if this is a feminine energy, constantly giving, you know, being all attentive to your love, making sure that they have that hot meal, you know, making sure that their clothes, their clothes are cleaned and washed. The house is inviting, you know, you smelling good and looking good. And they was unappreciative. And it's like you looking back like, yo, I know I did everything I could do. And now it's time for me to leave. So this is like someone's anticipating you know, some sort of amazing change. And look at this. The Ace of Cups flew out to clarify the ritual, the nine completion, the ego, um, the leadership, the five of cups, the sun, the king of pentacles and the unexpected income. This is why this person is mourning because they realize they let a good thing go. You know what I'm saying? Manipulating ish don't ever work out for you because the truth always comes to light. And the sun is what's illuminating everything, bringing clarity you know what I'm saying? And I feel this masculine is definitely seeing not only the situation for what it truly is, but they're also seeing the relationship that they desire to have. And it's with you. They're watching you from afar. They're seeing you as just this golden light, beautiful, even if this is a feminine, watching this masculine just grow and just taking on this very alpha male you know, spiritual balance, yogi type energy, just someone very spiritually strong, very attuned, you know, very balanced, someone very emotionally intelligent. This is a beautiful energy. And this is the union that's coming in. And not only do you have this, you know, overflowing cup of love, but you also have unexpected income which means there's blessings. And these are blessings that are going to change your life. I feel this person, this king of pentacles is going to be very kind, very giving, you know, very supportive. And he will also be, you know, blessing you, even if this is a she, they will be blessing you, you know, making sure that your needs and desires are taken care of. And there goes the ace of pentacles. So there could be, um, if you all been waiting for some sort of loan information on a loan, I feel this is a yes answer. If you've been waiting on, you know, some sort of job offer, it's coming. If you've been asking for a raise, it's here. And this is because a cycle has been completed. This always reminds me of like the world card in traditional tarot with this little wreath there. So I just feel like spirit is acknowledging, recognizing the transformation on all of your parts on your part, your divine masculine's part, 
you know, so it's just like on the divine masculine, divine feminine's part. It's just like, so here's the spirit saying here, here is an offer. This is like the breakthrough, the victory, the success. You got the ace of cups here. So this is a new um, emotional, um, this is like emotional fulfillment. This is something new. This is someone new offering you this cup of love. This is also someone offering you something tangible. Someone has gone, you know, had this wake up call. You know, and what did I say about something being destined? So this is destined. Look at that. The transformation. This is the transformation going through a major transformation. And now whatever was blocked, whoever was trying to put a stick in your wheel to block your blessings, to, you know, dim your light, thwart a plan. It's like the wheel is turning because spirit is turning the wheel. Spirit is making sure your bliss, your blessings are coming in. All of the things you've desired. Somebody finally sees someone, something for what it truly is. No longer confused. You know, I feel like this person was very, they had their hands tied. And it's because perhaps they was, you know, being manipulated emotionally. But there's a victory here. There's a victory because someone finally, you know, completes this cycle, sees things for what they are and moves accordingly. But this is your reading, beloveds. You have unexpected income here. You also have great fortune. We have the sun here. You also have um, Archangel Mikael protecting you. So I feel strongly you're coming into union with your divine feminine or masculine. You're the yin, the yin to your yang, your cosmic companion, whomever. I definitely feel someone refuses to let another person go. There's a karmic that is doing some spells. They got their auntie, their grandma. They got their mama. They all conjuring up this mess, trying to block someone from their obvious true love, from the one that got away. Remember, I showed you the four of cups, and it was like spirit was handing them this cup, and then they were sitting there self-sabotaging. But it was because they couldn't see something clearly. Maybe they was very stubborn, very egotistical, very proud, and they had to learn lessons. So that's why they were stuck in the spirit of um, in this energy where uh, source, spirit, universe, ancestors, angels place them where they can learn. They could see things, receive those downloads, those transmissions, receive that divine intervention. And they absolutely do. And they emerge wiser. They emerge someone very strong, also knowing what they want, confident and very uh, assertive this time around. Around. whoever this is that's coming in they're not coming into play they're offering you love they're also offering some sort of stability they've been enlightened with what they want and they're ready to take lead take charge and they want success in this relationship overall so I see them wanting to propose I see them offering you something tangible because this says unexpected income. So this could be you and another person merging together, your finances merging together, and you all are very well off. But this is a beautiful reading, a beautiful connection that I see you developing, that's forging. Um, and I just say, you know, I, I, I definitely um, encourage you all to just, you know, protect your energy always. It never hurts to protect your energy, but also pray for the one that's meant for you as well and protect them as well. You know, include them in your prayers because, you know, they, they're going through their own battles and um, they're definitely dealing with a very uh, nasty energy here. And this could be even you. So, you know, definitely, you know, uh, double up on your protective rituals. Um, definitely make sure you're cleansing, clean, clearing and cleansing your home, cleansing yourselves, um, you know, just to make sure that your energy isn't manipulated. But I do thank you, beautiful souls, for tuning and tapping in. This was a long one because I owed you all this. Because uh, it's been a minute since I've uploaded and I know the former reading was very low. So I felt like I needed to give you all a nice long deep old dive beloved. But thank you so much for tuning and tapping. And if I, if you are new, I hope the message has resonated. I hope you stay a while. If you are returning beloved, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. I also want to let you all know my Etsy shop is open. Click the link. There's a lot of dope products on there. Everything you see on there, I made. Um, so, yes, you know, go and, go and browse. Browse Etsy. The Etsy shop is called Higher Frequency. And um, for everyone who has already done so, I just send you infinite love and light. I rotate the love right on back to you. I thank you kindly. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Yo, peace.